What sets Boston Med Flight apart is we are ready at a moment's notice. You don't know what you're going to get, but you're prepared and ready for it when it comes in. We're very fortunate that we have state-of-the-art aircraft. We have a ground fleet, phenomenal medical equipment, and every apparatus that we have of that medical equipment is the best in the industry. It is an extension of an emergency room and an ICU, so everything that can be performed in those places we're doing in our vehicles. I had always heard about Boston MedFlight, that you know they were the best of the best. I think we're the model. I firmly believe that I've always felt that way. For 19 years, I felt that we set the bar. People strive, I think, to work towards our quality. The services that we deliver, the care, that we deliver to patients is unsurpassed. We are entitled with treating some of the sickest patients in the state and getting them safely from place to place. We gave birth. We didn't find out until the next day that Bodie had platelets in the single digits and he had started seizuring. We didn't know if we were gonna lose him or not. When the team came into the room, they were really calm and empathetic and answered all of our questions. We pretty much had the setup of a hospital inside of here with the people looking over him. It was a comfort to know that Boston MedFlight were the ones that taking care of him. He had a stent put in his heart. The following Sunday, it clocked, and that's where everything went crazy. A lot of people counted terrible. me out. A lot of people terrible. didn't think that I would make it. The family, the friends, which were numerous, <laughs> We're all outside and we're watching the helicopter, we're watching it, and it seemed like it was going on forever and it wasn't moving. And then all of a sudden it was like a lifetime movie and it started to go up. The window went down, we saw an arm go out with a thumbs up. The angels were taking him to Boston. On the night of his birth, I had a seizure in my house. Boston MedFly was called. The OB told me that they weren't expecting him to be pink and alive. So if we didn't have Boston MedFly, I'm sorry, I'm just, we didn't have Boston Red Flight, you wouldn't be here. The crew was just, they were fantastic. The rupture that I had um, was life or death and they really needed to get me there quickly. And they just, you know, were very calm, very soothing and were able to, you know, keep me under control and get me where I needed to go quickly. They kept me alive, they kept the oxygen in me and my brain's fine. It's just like amazing. There's no thank you enough to say what they did. They made me feel like my son was going to be okay, that he was in good hands and that he'd be taken care of. It sounds so dramatic and crazy, but I really do feel like they're like superheroes. I think about them every single day. If it wasn't for that crew in Boston MedFlight, I really feel that I maybe wouldn't even have my hand. They just made me feel so much better. Uh, I really uh, appreciate it and respect them for the job that they do. Hopefully people will donate for a cause like this because you don't really know much about it until it really happens to you, you know what I mean? Knowing that a lot of their ability of taking care of Bodhi that day came from other people's donations, we couldn't be any more grateful for that. There are almost 1,100 medical helicopters in the United States. There are hundreds of flight programs. I only wanted to work here because I was looking for a place ultimately that put the patient first. A lot of times you're fighting till the end and to see a good outcome afterwards really creates a bond. I am proud to work for Boston MedFlight and I think when people hear that I work for Boston MedFlight they think, oh wow, that must be an amazing job. And it absolutely is. Thank you guys for saving my life and more importantly saving Thomas's because we wouldn't be here without them. He wouldn't be here without them.